Hi everybody, my name is Caroline. In this video, we're returning to the 3D printer and I'm gonna show you a plugin called OctoPrint Anywhere. OctoPrint Anywhere allows you to use your smartphone outside of your home network and pause, cancel, watch your 3D prints from OctoPrint. And the cost is free for your first 3D printer. I only have one 3D printer, so I'm just gonna use the free account here. The prerequisites for this video is that you have to have a 3D printer. You have to be running a Raspberry Pi or whatever device uh, that you use. I think it, I, I've only seen people use uh, Raspberry Pi 3s for this. Running OctoPrint already today, and you also have to have your camera. I'm using a webcam. You could use a Raspberry Pi camera for this project, but you need to have OctoPrint, your camera with OctoPrint and your 3D printer all set up before you start this video. Now, if you haven't done that, I will link to how I set this up. This tutorial is simply installing the OctoPrint Anywhere plugin you can monitor your prints with your smartphone while you're outside your network without having to port forward. That is key here. I will link to the URL below. Let's get started. I did start a print job from my network, just my regular computer through OctoPrint, just the normal way, and it is printing away right now. The scenario for OctoPrint Anywhere is that you have left your home network, you're outside, and you still want to monitor your 3D print, which is very important here. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna take my phone off of Wi-Fi, and it's gonna go automatically into 3G, just to prove that this isn't on my home network anymore. Next, I'm gonna to go to my internet browser and I am going to go to getanywhere.io. That is the URL. And so I'm now, you know, I'm outside of my network. My printer is still going here and I want to be able to monitor my network. So there is the dashboard and I'm already logged in, but otherwise you would go to the menu here and you would uh, log in and it is showing me real time my printout. It tells me it's I'm 35% done and there's a streaming video. I can tell what temperature my extruder and my bed is and then I can go over to this other uh, tab here and if and it says I've been printing for 12 minutes and I've got 15 minutes left. I can pause the printout. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I'd like to pause the printout. And as you can see real time, my printer pauses. Now I'm going to resume my printout. I'm gonna hit resume. Yes, I want to resume. And you see my printer uh, is going again. Okay, excellent. So I'm doing this for the purposes of showing you how to do this. Um, or showing you how to do get anywhere. There is a bandwidth saving um, that you can turn on and, and it's going to reduce how much bandwidth you use on your mobile data plan by 90% according to the documentation. I, I believe there will be fewer pictures and it won't be as smooth streaming as previous. Uh, I haven't figured out how to start a print job from here. So I'm assuming you still have to start a print job when you're at home, when everything is going well and you just need to uh, check on your printout. It does create time lapses. I think that you can watch later on. You can select to upload these time lapses so you can watch it from your phone. I believe I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to hit cancel. Yes, I want to cancel my print job and sure enough, my printer cancels. Um, so it's fine that I canceled it. I just did it for this video here just to show you that I can control print jobs and monitor print jobs from my smartphone here. I'm starting a screen record right now and I am on my OctoPrint local at home as you can see and this is uh, this is great a guide to safe remote access of OctoPrint and I'm gonna read this little blog post by Judah Leth about a safe way to access your OctoPrint outside of your home. And uh, so it, it literally says, putting OctoPrint on the public internet is a terrible idea. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, so how do we want to be able to access this the easy way? Let's see, um, so I'm gonna uh, choose OctoPrint anywhere right now. And it's a cloud service that allows you to access OctoPrint through a web interface. Okay, and I can grab it here, so I'm gonna, select that 
Octo print anywhere and let's see and and there's a little description here all right so I'm gonna go back to my octo print here close this out I'm gonna go into my tools and I'm gonna go into plugin manager get more I'm gonna search for octo print anywhere and I'm gonna install that on my computer and it's done I'm gonna close that I do need to restart so let's hit restart proceed and I'm gonna close this out here and uh, and it's going to restart my Octoprint server right now. And it's ready to be reloaded. And I have my Octoprint right here. Okay, so let's see. Register my 3D printer. I need to log in or sign up. I guess I'll be signing up here. I have read Terms of Use and Privacy Policy. I'm going to hit Continue here. And, oh, here it is. There is my camera. Alrighty, and it's it's already up and working count uh, it says first printers on us you don't need to subscribe to paid service all right this is free for me excellent uh, and then there is pricing let's see what the pricing is first printer free additional printer five dollars per month that's it cancel anytime okay, I, have to, I think I've done all the steps boom I'm in okay it's done thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel here if you like this video bye now